A special volleyball tournament honors one of the victims of the Flight 5191 crash in Lexington. It's been almost 10 years since 49 people were killed at Bluegrass Airport. ABC 36's Diane Gerstenfeld shows us how a fundraiser continues to help the community heal. With every serve, set, and spike, players inside the Kentucky Basketball Academy gym remember that fateful day in August. Almost 10 years ago, when the lives of 49 people, mostly from Lexington, were taken too soon. When Calm Air Flight 5191 crashed at Bluegrass Airport. It's surreal at first. Um, I know that whenever I first heard about it, I also heard that there was a survivor. So instantly I was thinking it was Fenton. Fenton is that person who not only would have survived, you know, would have taken two or three or four or as many people as he could with him. But Stephanie Booth's friend Fenton Dawson didn't make it. He left behind a loving wife and two young kids that day. Just about a week after the crash, friends like Stephanie banded together to celebrate Fenton's life, doing what he loved most, playing volleyball. It definitely was just a bond that, that all of us share and, and went and trade. Over the years, the tournaments have brought out hundreds of people from far and wide to share in Fenton's story, even those that didn't know him personally. I think what really hits home with me is that any one of my teammates would, would do this for one of us. There's just always a very good feeling when you walk in here. You feel a lot of love. There's people laughing and hugging constantly. So I think it's hard to walk in here and not feel Fenton's presence. Um, and I think that's what people love about it. After a decade passing on Fenton's legacy, the net came down for the final time. And all those tournaments raised $10,000 in Fenton's name to be donated to the 5191 Memorial Preservation Fund. To not only honor Fenton, but also honor the other lives that were lost that day. In Lexington, Diane Gerstenfeld, ABC 36 News. And the 10th anniversary of the plane crash is next Saturday. A memorial service will be held at the UK Arboretum at 10 a.m. near the statue you just saw in its honor.